I am soldering my wires to my circuit. I had to measure all of my wires. It's not hard if you take the time. So see, I have this wire going around here, around my GPS, and I want it to swing over and then go over to my RX. And I do the same for all of these. I measure them first. I solder the first ones to the flora. And then as I audition them over here, I start cutting and then solder. So one of the things that I do is that I take and I bend the wires here a little bit. I make them a little longer so that this piece of wire, the silicone one, sits outside of the pad so it's not underneath so that I have room see so it lays really nice and I also want to keep the um the flora with the words like this so I have to constantly keep watching how much I'm pulling to the left or to the right because I want my flora to stay um with the letters like that so that that's what you see on the other side of the hat umbrella and my compass um, so let me solder this you have to be really patient and I used to be really intimidated, but as I've gotten more comfortable with the iron, I'm not as intimidated. So now what I do is I have to keep my ground there. I bring it around here like this. I keep measuring, coming over, and then see how it is on the TX over here. I need to get to the RX. And so I will cut a little off of that. Now I made a boo-boo and I cut this wire too short, so now I have to take off this solder. I got this little gadget that will take off this solder out of the hole. See? Let me see if you can see that. Bring it up so you can see it. I now have the hole back, so that I could put my wire through there. I have this little tool that I got at Radio Shack a while back. At first I didn't know how to use it and I quickly learned. Now you see how I already attached this one here and I brought this one underneath here but I want this silicone wire to come out of there. There it is. So now I bend this back with my nail, hold it there and then that one there and I'll be able to solder that. Let me make sure my compass is straight and I have enough room here. And then I'll be able to solder that and this will stay in place. Because you're going to be able to see all of these components. And one of my biggest issues is that I want it to look really nice. So a little bit of solder. Hold it in place. nice. Then over here, I want to fill that hole. Let me cut my tip. There we go. I need some more over here. That looks really nice. See, and then when I wrap it around, it's going to fit in there really nice. Because all of this is going to lay on a piece of plastic that I'm going to sew it onto. Now you see how this is all twisted up, but that's what I like about the silicone wire, that you can move it around, twist and turn it, and when I'm finished, I can put it all back together. 
So here I am again. Let me do it this way. So you can see. I don't want to burn my silicone arm. See? And then afterwards, after I have it all connected, I'm going to take and see this is going to lay in here. This one is going to lay here like this. And this one is going to go over here like that. See? One will lay on top of the other. And I still manage to keep my flora and my compass um, in the direction that I need so that when you turn it around, you'll be able to see the letters. See? That looks really cool. So my ground, all I have to do is bring it over here. So what I'm going to do with the ground is I'm going to put it over each other, not under like I did the rest, because I don't really have the room um, like I did over here. So the ground, I'm going to do it on the other side because I don't want to have it on the bottom because I don't ever want it to get any... Well, I don't want it to get warm and ruin any of the other waters. So I'm going to do it underneath just to be on the safe side. I don't know if it'll get hot enough to heat up any of the other waters, but to err on caution. So that's the, um, the ground. Got to straighten all these again. Oh no, I am a I'm a picky, picky person. See? And then I'll cut this and solder that right there. Okay, so the last one is my ground. It does take me longer than if I just did it any old way. But, you know what? I was always taught if you're going to do something, do it right. This way I never have to go back a second time to fix it. That was just adding solder to that. But here's the ground. Let me um, add a little more solder to these pads. I'm then going to seal all of this with hot glue. Let me show you what that looks like now. So here's my circuit with the compass. I need everything really close to each other. That was another thing. Because all of this is going to lay on one of the panels that is like this on the umbrella hat and especially on Pierre's it's so tiny so I had to measure every little bit and use um, as little as little space as possible so that it'll fit in his little umbrella hat so I am excited I'm gonna move on to the rest